Yeah, we're getting whatever you are. What's up? I'm Ryan Waste. My name's Anthony Foresta. Hey, it's Nick. We're here at Arthur's place. Hey, <laughs> Dave, what are you here? Landfill. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Raise them up. Soda water's up to that. That was fun. It was fun reading everyone's take on it, like, because it's they go through each band member, so that was kind of fun. It made, reminded me of a lot of stuff that that uh, I forgot about during that time. <laughs> it was a crazy time period of our yeah, career. That's for sure. Yes, full length. We're in, in the process of now doing some guitars at the moment. Got our rig set up. Pretty much uh, only Marshall on this one. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Marshall. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur, 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 Arthur. Arthur, 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 Arthur. It's Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Yeah, we, uh, we like Arthur as a person. First of all, I think the temperament of the engineer plays a big part, and he's a really relaxed guy. But the studio is even more relaxing. Yeah. And I mean, with rugs like this, how could you go wrong? This is the first time I'm recording without bottom heads, and I've never been so psyched. They sound fucking awesome. This is the first time I've done it, and then the aluminum shells really made them come to life. I'm so psyched on how they sound. I can't wait for everybody to hear it. Don't share all the secrets, man. Big Tom. Is that a secret? Yeah. No. Not at all. <laughs> well, I know. I'm first yeah. psyched on it. Yeah. yeah. It's the best his drums have ever sounded. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they yeah. sound great. Yeah. We're getting pretty caught up with the moon in Philadelphia. <laughs> and the mood is right. right. The mood is right. The mood is tight. It's so cool recording right here, like on this block. Like I remember the relapse store right yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Like when I was a kid, the f my first time ever in Philly, uh, I came up here, and it was like ninety two or something. I remember walking outside of TLA. Who knows what it was called then? And Fear just got done playing, and all these gnarly like dudes came out out in the street, and I was just standing there like little kid, like whoa, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia is crazy. Uh, I always think about that. Every time I walk through here, even when we play here and stuff, it's like, man, this fucking area still looks pretty much the same, which is kind of rare these days with fucking everything. <laughs> but, yeah. It's nice to see places place is open. Jim Steaks is open. Jim Steaks. Famous deli. Yeah, I shot it out on the way to the sandwich place, but Noise Pollution, I've been ducking away from every tour in Philly to go pick us something up, so... It's I like an old heavy metal section, and they've always had something. There's been one jam each time. We got the first Trouble record there years ago on White Vinyl. It was pretty tight. This cool. might be my favorite record we've yeah. created. Cool. I think it's the best. I, I know a lot of bands always say this shit, but it's the, it's the most prepared we've ever been. We're yeah. extremely confident with the material. I've been saying the same shit. We've been combing everything, like... We've had time I'm obsessing time about time. everything because it's like yeah. this is a positive thing in our lives right yeah. now. It's like so we want to make it like the best thing possible, and and I think you know, it's it's you know something that we can give to our fans and be proud of. Yeah. I am for sure. It's been a lot of fun for me too. I mean, it's like it's been like a cool new way of like writing process. You know, it's like we all kind of had all these ideas and just had so much time to kind of just sit and nitpick them, you know, and then... Yeah. Everyone brought something to the table. Make them yeah. feel old. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. stirred it up and then yeah. we had the time. We're not on rush going on tour. We have time to, you know, be in the studio and to rehearse, which is kind of rare for the waste. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it, yeah. That should show, you know. Well, there's yourself. always a show you got to play that next weekend or yeah. your, your brain's not fully or just like, focusing on the record or one of your other <coughs> 800 bands. Or like a decimal <laughs> interview. Yeah. Like you're tracking your guitars and the decimal shows up and you're like, hey, get back man, to I work, just man. hit my stride and y'all showed up. No. But um, we're happy to see everybody. We don't get to do interviews anymore. We miss interviews. Yeah, actually, yeah man. We miss so, you, man. Yeah. you guys. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, wow, I didn't thought about that. Heavy. We thought about that. We thought about that. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, yeah. I, I didn't know. I, did you know? You knew! <laughs> Second to last. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, that was pretty much, yeah, that came out and then the world saw it, like, got real <laughs> shitty. <laughs> but we're here making music. We had a lot of time to write this record, so yeah. that's the positive from all the time off. We got to create a new record, so it paid off in, in that way.
Yeah, we all got to be in the room together and work on it together, which was super beneficial. It really worked out well. I think it'll show too when you hear it with your own ears. It's been a lot of work, you know. It's like uh, you know, we, we kind of took a couple of weeks off, and then it was just let's do two days a week, and then once it came close to the time, it was like let's do three days a week and really fine tune these jams. And uh, we masked up and everything too. So everyone, yeah, in the beginning, it was one on one, one person. Yeah, on everyone's been real careful. You got to you know look out for each other. We're all tested, and we wear masks when we're not yeah. doing interviews. Just so you know. I mean, I, I'll get harassed where I live, like, wearing a mask. Like, it's kind of fucking crazy. Hey, idiot. Man. Yeah, no, was like, somebody was like, where's the Antifa convention? Oh, God. I'm like, what does that fucking mean? But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's just strange how uh, inconsiderate people could be sometimes. But hopefully, you know, we'll... <laughs> we can raise awareness or something and let yeah. people just, we'll just stay keep stay wearing stay. them for a little yeah. while. If you want shows to come back, yeah. wear a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line, if you want music to there. be played Everybody live, wear a mask. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, Get me out of my house, man. <laughs> you got to play. <laughs> Berlin, Berlin. Oh, okay. last year, yeah. December fifteenth. Yeah. It was a craziest show too. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, a wheelchair yeah. kept like making his way. <laughs> oh, that crowd surfing. <laughs> yeah. Six yeah. stage dives yeah. on a wheelchair. Yeah. We're like the first band to ever get mad at a guy for stage diving too much in a wheelchair. <laughs> we made him stay up with us and go, "You live with us yeah. now, man." Yeah. Like, you can't. This is is too much. We ain't going back out, man. My heart would stop every time I'd see him. Like, yeah. just take a you know yeah. slight spill. Because everyone was just picking him up. He didn't yeah. even want to stage dive. And he did. Yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah. Time, so it just became too heavy for people to physically lift. Yeah. People so, are worn out, man. <laughs> that was the last year. So, we've so, so had about an eight month break or nine month break since then. So. Gosh. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> yeah. Thinking right? about it, it's yeah. starting to like, oh, give me anxiety. I've been yeah, on this one for 15 years. Yeah. yeah. Which is cool. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah, for, yeah, it's, for it's us, nice. we tour so much. Like, it's almost like. Or we're recharging your, your batteries, or yeah, yeah, and getting your life in like somewhat in order. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little too in order. order. You know? yeah, yeah, I'm ready to get the fuck back out. That's for yeah. sure. Jesus. Well, it's definitely sparked crea creativeness because we've been. I feel like this is one of the best things we've done creatively. Was it the Metro Gallery? Metro Gallery. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that place is going all right. In Baltimore? Baltimore? Yeah. Oh right. no, that place rules. Uh, you know, as far as for all the the Philly every venues, venues. Yeah, everyone's hurting. You know, it's just yeah, in it's, your own town, support the local yeah. one. That's all I can really say. You it's can. just yeah. If you have, there's a venue you love going to, you know, kick them some loot or buy food from them if you can. Especially yeah, if there's like you know like the fucking restaurant kind of vibe. Yeah, the everybody's. White claws. Wine. Soda water. Lots not, of stouts. Not nice beer. A Shit. mix of red wine and soda water. Shiraz, motherfucker. You drink Shiraz. <laughs> I drink Shiraz. Uh, right now. We've upped our taste since uh, the beer fest. Yeah. yeah. But no, no, I'm, Champagne taste. Really. Yeah, I'm just stoked on Cigar City. Like, uh, they got like the hazy IPA that uh, I, I actually found six pack yesterday. So that was pretty cool. Even up here. And this dude is constantly. Three Floyd's forever. Just yeah. saying. Uh, that new Necrot record rolls. Yeah, They're all hard, great. obviously. I know everybody's hard up for that. No, that's a I, sick one. I fell in love with the OCs. I never knew about them until recently, and they're fucking great. There's 23 albums I had no idea. This band Zigzags from LA, and uh, this band Intoxicated from Tampa, that's like death, like old school, like death thrash. It's fucking killer. So they're, they're, like, they're like older guys. Yeah, they're like older guys yeah. playing like. Yeah, it's it's good. It's done really well. It's fun, fun band too. Heavy soft rock, mainly. Is that that? What's that rhythm you bought yesterday? <laughs> so, heavy soft satin whale. Satin whale, heavy <laughs> German, soft German rock. journey. <laughs> the perfect band name for heavy soft rock. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Black Roses, Trick or Treat, yeah. Shock Em Dead, been October the, Blood. Yeah, I've been on Day of the heart. Dead. Day of the Dead, like the, the whole score from that movie is fucking fantastic. I'm Definitely a, zombie vibes. I'm going a new one, Drag Me to Hell. 
That movie rules. Go back and watch that shit. Yeah, yeah. Howling, that's a right? fucking hilarious movie. Howling once, my champ. Yeah. Howling, sick. Phantasm was always. Yeah, tops. Phantasm's like a movie. Uh, uh, Halloween three. Season of the Witch three. Horror every day. Have you guys ever been to Shining? It's yeah. like really yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's got technicals in it. It's not the TV version. Yeah. That was the guy from Wings. Was yeah. 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 yeah, you don't watch yeah. Wings. <laughs> but Stephen, uh, Stephen King, got King liked, there, right? Stephen King liked the Wings version I, better than was, yeah. than fucking. It's true to his story. So. Yeah, it's Kubrick. Uh, you can never go wrong with any John Carpenter movie. Oh, you know, well, today, today yeah, big influence. Huh? Today, the books of book came out on Hulu. Yeah, oh, it's good. Yeah, I'm psyched about that. Huge Clive Barker fan. Always happens. This you'll be here a while. You want to talk horror movies? So. <laughs> I heard this guy would make out with uh, uh, Clive Barker if he had the opportunity. To yeah, so he's right. Wow. <laughs>Usually about your fourth or fifth uh, sequel, you got to go to space, and that's what we did. <laughs> We've been sitting on that title since we were like young, so we had to wait for it to be the right time to go to space. So, might be good to go to space now. I don't know. It kind of sucks here right now. Yeah, let's go to Mars, man. We'll so, fuck it. <laughs> well, we were joking around, like, what are we gonna do uh, after we record this? Yeah, right. I was like, well, let's just get started on the next one. Yeah, you know? we got time right now. We're not touring, so, so. Let's yeah, you don't it. gotta shush me, man. <laughs> uh, I was shushing him. Yeah. Okay, like eighteen songs right now. We don't usually put all of them on the album. Yeah, but um, right. we'll see. They're what written somewhere in this room, but we hid them from you guys. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> hid the track list. Yeah, it's like an Easter egg. Huh? No, you. Yeah, you know sneaky. what you would do to us. Right now, everything's so up in the air with tours or whatever. Like, I mean, the sooner the like, the better, I guess. Maybe next year. Um, yeah. Music's it's great. I, there's been a lot of really cool albums that have came out so far this year. Um, so that's kind of one thing that keeps your hopes up is getting new music. So you guys might witness my death in this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's so amazing. See, I have one of those waiting for me back there. I've been eating all day. Let's do it. 